Hey, what's up, bureaus and makers? And welcome to this new episode of La Grande du Barbu. Today is episode 162, cross hatching, and we're gonna draw. I begin my drawing by placing a few elements, lines, to have some basic reference. My aim here is to try to draw some kind of posture by hand, with in big letters written make something, and plenty of tools and common stuff I use every day in the background. To do this, I use really common and widely available tools, some regular A3 paper, a pen and some rulers. Now that my letters are traced, I pen borders and I can begin to draw the background elements. A hammer, a screwdriver, a felt pen, a scotch tape roll, I draw whatever comes to my mind or whatever I can see in my surrounding. I love chaotic drawings with a messy background where there is more to see than just the foreground object. So I place as many stuff as I can in the background to fill the entire sheet of paper. Now that my main elements are drawn, I try to fill empty spaces with more drawings of tool and such. The aim here is also to train to draw perspective, especially circles and ellipses, which are one of the most difficult stuff to draw for me. But I'm gonna just shut up and let you enjoy a time lapse of the drawing of this poster in peace. Now that the drawing part is finished, we're gonna start the second part of the project, inking the poster. Well, I use black felt pen and markers to blacken all of the pen drawings. There is so many felt pen and markers available, but I use mainly a box of Dervent graphic felt pen from 0.05mm to 0.8mm thick. I also use Stabilo and Stadler markers with F and M sizes to ink wider pencil lines. There is dozens of brands and felt pen types, so try them in an art supply shop and find the ones who fit you the most. Traditionally, inking is made with Chinese black ink and a brush, but as I'm not the most delicate person, I usually have more ink on my arms and hands than on the paper, so felt pens and markers are an ideal solution for me. So I start inking the outer edge of objects with a 0.5 thick millimeter felt pen. I try to work methodically, starting at one point of the paper sheet and working my way to the end of it. 
This inking process is important. It trains you to have a steady hand, make a one-stroke line and work straight lines and curved ones. I finish inking my poster and we will go on the next part, details. Now that the outline of objects have been inked, I grab a thinner felt pen and put some shadows on it to draw shadow and volume. Not my strong point, but the aim here is to train first, not being perfect. I take a big marker to redraw my layers. Maybe not the best decision, but the one I took at the moment. And at last, I'm trying the crossed hatching method by drawing strikes with the medium marker on the same direction and then on the other side. It gives the illusion from afar of a grey made of only black strokes. The aim here, other than trying to practice this technique, is also to boost the cowlick effect of the posture to make it more messy. And when I'm finished with the first angle, I do the same on the opposite angle. So, it's not exactly the result I was expecting, but it's a damn good training and I'll now refine some of the details of the posters. The main outlines are a little bit blurred by the cross hatching, so I re ink them with a wire marker. And that's it, two hours of work to draw and ink this poster, a really fun and cool project which gave me the time to practice some aspects of how to draw things, so much fun! So, here's the result. Ooh, I'm kind of pleased and I, and, and I learned a new technique, the cross hatching. There is no real aim to this episode otherwise than to practice drawing. And why practicing drawing? Because if you want to make people understand exactly what you want to do, you can talk to them, you can email them, but you can also draw them something. I will give you an example. On one of my magic notebook, I have always plenty of sketches like this they're not perfect their only aim is to try to make people understand what I'm trying to do like this so I have to work on a perspective I have I have to work on plenty of stuff and on this episode I just try to to practice how to draw things and to new and to learn a new technique, the cross hatching, and it was kind of cool. I love to draw. I'm not by any mean any professional illustrator. There's plenty of YouTube channels amazing about people who love to draw and who love to share their love of drawing and plenty of techniques and stuff like this. So don't hesitate to watch them. I watch them for hours and I love it. But it's not my specialty. But it's always good 
to try to do stuff that you're not really good at and get trained. If you have any questions or insults, don't hesitate to send me an email, to send me a tweet, uh, contact me on Instagram, Facebook, leave a comment and of course subscribe. I put one episode every week and all episodes are in English now and in French. I hope it, it gives you something to just take a, take a pencil, draw and practice drawing. It's always a good stuff. Um, so see you on, on the next episode.